now we're going to church to St. Patrick. Uh, it's probably one of the most beautiful churches in the world, actually. Yeah? I've never been there, but I'm super excited. I'm Catholic, I'm Christian, I practice my religion. I'm a very religious person. And today is Sunday, so like every Sunday, uh, I go to the mass, I go to church. I always must make sure that I train, I prepare for my fast, but I take my obligation seriously. going to the nail place. I want to do some uh, red nails for my fight, special one. I like to have my nails done, but now I always put gel and it's good, you know, and sometimes the girls in the gym are like, how do you do this? That uh, your nails are always done very nice, you know, but I do gels and it's the best way to do that. You see the glass and then you see the red color. It's, it's Beautiful red nails. I must look good uh, on Saturday. Uh, it's like roses color, huh? Isn't it? Lots of love. A good hand wrap, uh, comfortable and real nice and tight and packed. So it allows your bones to uh, not break. That's a good wrap. See how tight that is? So that's how we do it now. Build the base, build the foundation, and the chins will crumble. You know, you can come in with a lot of confidence in a fight with me, and your confidence will diminish blow by blow, strike by strike. All these fighters want to talk about fight IQ, but fighting is simple to me. You hit, you don't get hit. It don't matter, you can have Albert Einstein in there. TJ just trying to type himself up, and he has, you know, if he was a better fighter, he would have beat Dominic Cruz that night. And instead, Dominic Cruz had him swinging in the air looking, looking foolish, looking amateuristic. I grappled with that guy when I was green 1-0, and oh, and he was a world champion. He couldn't fuck with me, and he wouldn't fuck with me now. I step off. Two. TJ thinks that uh, just because Cody has a stance of a boxer, that he's gonna pick that leg and shoot on his lee leg. We got a surprise for you, TJ. The only thing you know that TJ is gonna be grappling is the referee when he wakes up from you knock him out. Oh, nice! Hell yeah! Let's do this shit. We'll get embedded to film us filming our combos. <laughs> Did you grab the right leg pad? Correct, yeah. Mm. I don't know, man. I feel like maybe in the in the past, they used to put more pressure on shit like that. But uh, now it just feels normal. I don't know. Like, I've actually noticed that the last, like, three fights, that, like, fight weeks don't really feel like fight weeks anymore. You know, just finally it comes with the experience of doing this, you know? Right now, just to get some sweat going, making sure we're staying sharp on the information that we need to use on Saturday night, just rehearsing and refreshing and staying sharp on things. I was like trying not to do too much. <laughs> How you been? Yeah, bro. You good? Yeah. See ya. Yeah, bro. You ready? Hell yeah, man. I leave tomorrow. I know. Game, game time. So I wrestled with Brian in high school, uh, three-time state champ, dude. He started wrestling in uh, freshman year. Was it freshman year you started yeah, wrestling? freshman year. Okay, three-time state champ. Crazy, man. A little badass. Yeah. Start wrestling one year, then the next year you win state. Yeah. Shit's crazy. The zone, man. Dedication. A lot of, a lot of training, visualizing. Oh, uh, yeah. You know I'm getting my belt back. I'm not going to be very surprised that there's going to be some sort of drama fight week, you know? They're going to try to start some sort of scuffle, maybe get in a fight. Yeah. They're going to show their true colors. They're going to look like idiots, you know? Like, I'm going to stick to my game and, and worry about me and, and what I got going on. And I can guarantee you that they're going to they're gonna try to uh, ruffle feathers and start some drama, you know? It's like, uh, it's actually very childish and uh, they can only hash on, on me for so long. It gets old. Say the same bullshit, make up same their thing. stories. Yeah. and. You know, it's... It, Spice it up, huh? Yeah, man. They're, uh, they're so obsessed with what I got going on in my life that uh, it's quite pathetic. You live, champ. Nice. Thanks, brother. Oh, man, yeah. Thanks, man. All right, brother, man. Yeah. yeah. Right. Great right. right. man. I'll see you after the fight. Yeah, man. I'll come back in. Oh, uh, yeah. We are in uh, Brooklyn, in Polish neighborhood, so we're gonna uh, drive and walk around and I will meet some people. We are at the Polish restaurant, the name of the restaurant is Karczma. 
karchma, it means that you're gonna get the typical original Polish food. This is not the place for you to be today. I want everything. Instead of having gwampki and other thank stuff, you. thank you guys. I'm having a, an orange. That's the kind of set. This is Polish broth, this is pickles. This is, this is all for you. Eat this one because there's no oh, coming. Apparently, you're eating that one. Oh, okay. Acting like I'm eating Polish food four days before the fight and before the wings. Did you try this one? This is the sour one which uh, we eat for Easter. Oh! How's it going guys? How are you? Cold? No, 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 no. that's not for you guys. You're used to this. We need as tough as you, but we're tough. I'm fucking freezing, man. Fucking <laughs> freezing. What are we saying? Who wins? We Me or GSP? You easy. Right. Come on. You easy. Come on, champ. There we go. Are you, you're just saying that. Don't let him wrestle you. That's the advice. I didn't him. think of that one. <laughs> We're specifically working over everything, going through everything, drilling to make sure everything's smooth and that he's reacting properly and he's doing the right things at the right time. Yeah, it doesn't have to be there. You can still do it like this. Oh, yeah, yeah. So right now. Deep. Yeah. If you can't get your elbow, you get your core. Feels good, you know, training a little bit. Water doesn't load up your joints, so it's good for muscle, therapeutic, and it feels good and some drilling, make sure I'm sharp. I'm off to the airport, going to uh, Connecticut. Ciao, Middleweight champion of the world. I worked my entire life to get to this point, and I ain't letting it slip by that easily. He's very preoccupied by what I do, and it makes me laugh because I'm not so preoccupied by what he does. I'm focusing on me, not really on him, but that make me laugh. It's actually funny what he says. It's, it's, uh, it's good for the show, I guess. <laughs> but good for him. He has a nice car. He's driving a Range Rover like me. He's got a beautiful family and just bad I'm gonna have to end his reign. <laughs> It's been the next game. You know, it's the second basketball game I've ever been to in my life, so it's pretty cool. This this arena to me is like was my top three arenas to fight in my all-time favorite fighter and hero, Roberto Duran, won his first world title here, man, Ali Frazier. But there's a lot of fights that, that took place in this amazing arena, so I'm just happy to be here. I'm going to be contributing to that legacy in a major violent way. It's going down November 4th. Only if you like violence, tune in. If you don't, don't, don't tune in. Hashtag Easy Money, hashtag Post Slap Season. From backyards to court sides, the bright lights. Here I go.